In TouchPell, you only need to slide words left, right, down when you want to input precisely. In most cases, you work in the predictive mode and just need to tap on the buttons directly. Use the fingertip or the nail to touch the screen. You will find it is the most accurate and effective way to use Windows Mobile touchscreen pocket PCs. Do not touch like this, but touch it like this way. Word association is an innovative feature, makes input smooth and fast. There are also some shortcuts to help you input even faster. Slide down on a word candidate to get all the associated words. Slide right for the ing format, left for the passive format, and slide up for the s or es format. TouchPell version 2 has two cool features, automatic mistyping correction and a dynamically resizable keyboard. Sometimes you may want to reduce or enlarge the size of the keyboard. You can do that simply by sliding up or down on the Help Option tab. If you reduce the size of TouchPell, by default, TouchPell will automatically enable mistyping auto-correction on the horizontal level. With the auto mistyping correction, you can do pretty good job even in the reduced mode. Let's see how good it works in the reduced mode. T-plus solution is suitable for quick input, not only in the predictive mode, but also in the precise mode. It is much better than single letter buttons layout. Think about how you input precisely in single letter button layout. You always need to check if you are on the right button or not. If not, you need to move your finger around to locate to the correct button. That will be a penalty to the input speed. With T-plus, the thumb-friendly buttons significantly reduce the possibility of mistyping. You don't need to spend time on checking if you click on a correct button. This is a key point why T Plus could be faster even in precise input mode. If you are fully confident on your typing, you can type in letters directly in the precise input mode without any sliding. TouchPell detects the press down position and shows the corresponding input letter. TouchPell detects the finger movement instead of the position. To input the letter Q, slide from right to left on the button. You do not need to press down at the center of the button and then slide left. You can press down near the right edge of the button and then slide left. Slide up and down to input the content on the top of a button. For example, Slide up and then down on QW button, you will input the number 1. In TouchPell version 2, we introduced a new feature, My Sentences. You can define 8 frequently used sentences. 
Slide down on the 1, 2, 3 tab, you will get four slots of my sentences. The same to the Symbol View tab. To define my sentence, first open the pocket word, input the content you want to save, copy it to clipboard. You can find the select all and copy command in my comments list, which is another new feature in TouchPell version 2. Then find the slot you want to set, firmly press and hold until message box pops up. Now you have successfully saved a frequently used sentence. You can also save your password in my sentences, which will show up as stars instead of plain text. Simply add three stars ahead of the content and follow the same defined process as just illustrated. Another cool feature is to define my sentences with parameters. Here is an example. You may usually say, I will be there in n minutes. n is a parameter and varies every time we use this sentence. In TouchPell version 2, you can mark such parameter as end star in a self-defined my sentence. You can then input the value of the parameter afterwards. For example, here I input 3. Emotion icons are frequently used. In TouchPell version 2, you can customize the output string of each emotion icon. The steps to define the customized emotion icons are very similar as those to define my sentences. Open the pocket word, select and copy the output string, press down on the corresponding symbol, and hold till the success message box popping up. You can also customize .NET button in the symbol view. For example, if you are in France, you may usually want to use .fr in the web URL. You can easily replace .NET with .fr following the customization steps explained before.